What is up teachers? Today we're going to take a look here at how to make a video file uh, with all your photographs, all of your pictures that you've been sent. Like this is this is a request I often get at the end of the year when you want to make your photo slideshow with the music to it. Um, Mr. Brown, how can I do this real easy? Boom, we're doing it right now. Here within 10 minutes, we're going to make a whole entire photo slideshow video with music all like 100 photos we're going to have included in this one and it's going to take us 10 minutes or less to do all this get it all put together so you so I'm making a video and i am going up to the templates and searching for things like photos or school or slideshow you know whatever kind of keywords you're thinking to try to grab some templates that we can use uh, we're looking for templates that have multiple pictures on them that way we can use those templates um, we can do a little bit of customization on them and we can add our pictures to it get moving here really quick and easy so this one here i've got it's got four photos on it family treasure moments whatever i can go and change that to you know uh, my class photos you know the school year with these templates where these photos are at in here all you have to do is click on the photos themselves and then hit the backspace button and it is going to delete the photo out of the frame it's called a frame uh, there is going to be a shape underneath there where we can drag and drop our photos into so all we have to do is delete the ones that are there to empty the frame, um, customize the template here. We want to change the family, you know, family photo to class photo, you know, whatever kind of things you want to do. Give it your name of your class. Um, if you want to add some extra graphics or anything to these templates, you can. And once you get a template kind of set up here and customized the way that you want it, all you got to do is just start copy pasting it you can copy paste it a several times and then what we gotta go do is drop our photos in there so you can see i changed that one uh to mrs lady friends class and we took out the photos we're changing this one to class photo and we are going to drop in uh we deleted the, the stock photos that were in there and left those blank frames where we can drag and drop our pictures and now that we've copied that and pasted it in here we've got several occurrences of that where we can go and we're dragging and dropping in three pictures per slide on all those three maybe four on this first slide here so i'm going to start dragging over you can see my photos i just all i have to do is upload my photos through the uploads if you've got a folder of your photos you know that you've taken off your phone or your camera they're on your hard drive you just upload those and then here we just start dragging and dropping them in to the empty photo frames so boom just drag it over and drop it drag it over and drop it it's super duper easy i'm using my mouse wheel uh, while my cursor is over the slide to scroll down to the next one real quick and then i am boom dragging and dropping dragging and dropping mouse wheels rolls down to the next one dragging and dropping my images over from my uploads just dropping them into the frames there so we you can see this down here is set for five seconds right now which is probably decent right on a time um, towards the end here i'm going to go and change the time to much shorter uh, just for my example so we blast through it and you can see how it all works uh, but you can change the time of all those slides you know um individually or you can set it to all the slides which is what you probably want to do you know you set one of them to five seconds and then tell it apply this to all the slides maybe you've got some slides that are big and they've got a lot of pictures going on and you want to have more seconds on those individual slides you can do that maybe you've got just one picture per slide and you want to have less time that it's on the screen maybe you only want it up there for two or three seconds and moving on to the next one so i'm still just dragging and dropping these images over from my uploads over into the blank frames we're rolling we're rolling we're rolling through here mouse wheel down to the next one drag and drop over the pictures of kids playing kangaroo polo kids hanging out with lions and tigers all these images that we're using in this activity here i made with the uh, artificial intelligence built into canva i just gave it some prompts and asked it to make some pictures of students for me that's why they all look really creepy uh, some of them have some incredibly creepy facial expressions and half-baked faces. 
Um, we've got kids at their Halloween party. We've got little kid students from their Christmas party. The AI made that. So I just told it to make a picture of uh, toddlers in Christmas PJs dancing. All right, we've got students in the lunchroom dragging and dropping over. I told this to make uh, conjoined twins playing foosball. Uh, it, it made identical twins, but not conjoined twins. But hey, we take what we can get, right? All right, again, mouse wheel down to the next one. Once Now I've, I filled this up. So I've got like 60-something slides on, photos on here on these slides. I'm going to pick a song. All I got to do is go over to audio. Uh, oops, I accidentally put the song towards the end there because that's where my cursor currently was in the video. So I got to go back to the beginning of the video and then pick my song again, and it'll drop it down there. You can see I'm going to go and change the time of these slides. I'm going to make this really short. What did I take it down to one second? All right, dropping my song on there. And again, this is music that we are legally allowed to use and everything is licensed through Canva. We don't have to go and find and download the song. We can just search through the songs that are on there. You can search, you know, by content, um, all that stuff. And I just, so it made it for me, it's put it online. It's given me a link to share it. So I don't even have to download a video file if I don't want to. This is playing off of the link that it created. This is my song and everything is going here. And it is um, blowing through my slideshow. You can see all the little animations and everything that were a part of the template are happening. The things are popping and, and flowing in and out. It's uh, a little bit more exciting. And boom, that was uh, set up to go through it in just one minute. Let's jump back in here. So we are going to add some more photos to this. That was too easy. Let's go ahead and add more photos on here. And I'm going to get more photos per page as well. So I grabbed another template file here. And again, I've pressed backspace to delete those stock photos out of the template. And now that I have that set up the way that I want, here's another one. Boom. I'm going to go backspace those photos out of the template and add whatever I want to to this as well. Notice I can go through the elements. I can grab extra graphics or text or anything that I want to go ahead and add on to this to customize it a little bit more. And notice how that went into the frame. If I hit control Z, it pops it back out and puts it where I wanted it instead of inside the photo frame. Uh, that'll happen to me again here. As so I drag, resize this, put it in the corner where I want it. Sometimes it pops into those photos on accident. Um, but boom, we're moving on to the next one here. So I've got these two more template frames here that I'm going to customize, I'm going to add graphics to it, get it set up the way that I want it, and then I will just copy paste these two frames a bunch more times, and then we will go and drag and drop more photos into it to finish up our slideshow so that we are going to get to all hundred or so of our class photos here. We're making our end of the year photo slideshow, and we are probably five, six minutes into this or so right now. I don't know, I don't have a timer in front of me. But um, I'm telling you, within 10 minutes, we're going to be done with this huge, fancy slideshow um, that is going to be very enjoyable for you and your class. So I'm looking to see where did I leave off at, where is the last picture, is going back to my uploads, and it was foosball, so we're moving on from here. Now I'm dragging and dropping my pictures over into the frames, mouse wheel to roll down to the next one or click it, and just dragging and dropping my photos over. Again, these photos I've already got in my uploads, and then I am just dragging and dropping them over there. All right, so we've got all these photos in here in just a moment, and what we're going to do is go and change the time again just for the sake of this demonstration we want it to go much faster so I'm going to switch the time way down so that we fly through this you want to make sure you put the time in an appropriate thing for your slideshow I'm just going to go copy that link again it's the same link that I've already used the first time we worked on this copy paste that link throw it into the browser hit enter and it is going to launch the slideshow with the song and everything boom it's flying through it again all the animations We'll get through this first half that we already saw here, and in the second part, we will see if there's any different animations on those other templates we used. Moving, moving, moving. I didn't have to use more than one song, but you can definitely stack the songs one after the other if your slideshow was long enough for that. There we go. So they are fading in and out. 
with the transitions here, popping in the rest of these pictures, finishing up our slideshow, and it is done. Okay, let's say we want to make our own little template for our images from scratch here. and We don't want to search through the design templates that are available. What we want to use are called frames. Uh, we're going to search for frames under the elements frame, F-R-A-M-E. Once we hit enter to search for that, you see there's a whole section, a whole category of frames. So we can select those and then we can scroll through those and pick those to drop into our slide. And you can see there's lots of different shapes and sizes and styles of them. Some of them have more than one image per one of those little frames. So you can grab that, put it on your slide. Then we could go and add any kind of text and graphics that we want. Uh, to make it more um, friendly and interesting to look at. Uh, we could change that background image too if we wanted to have something different back there. Uh, what we do is we just set up our little template the way we want it here. We add our little fun graphics and images and maybe we want like a dancing robot or something down here in the corner. Uh, we can pop him down there. Um, once we get these set up the way we want them, I'm going to actually copy and paste all of these graphics and things that I've added to this slide and put it onto the one right before there with the big image. And I'm going to make that a two photo slide as well. Once we get these all, you know, dialed in exactly the way that we want them. We then just highlight both of them, uh, shift click both of the slides, control C to copy them, and then we can use control V to just start dropping those slides in there one by one after the other there. Uh, we can fill it up with all of those blank templates uh, where we just need to go back to our uploads and start dragging and dropping those photos into it again. So we've copy pasted those slides time after time, a whole bunch of control V's to get them all in there. Now we're going to go to our uploads and just start dragging and dropping over photos, dragging and dropping photos over into the frames. Boom. This is what it would look like. going to make the time a little bit longer. We'll set it to four seconds here. Uh, notice now I need to add another song. My song ran out in that slide transition. So I can go back over to the music and search for a new song. We can preview these. Once we've decided on the song that we want, then we just click it, make sure our cursor's right there where we want it to be. Boom, and it drops that song in place there. And we just scroll through here to check and make sure, yep, that song runs all the way to the end. So we don't need to add a third song at this point. We're going to go back to that share button. We can preview it with that play button. We go to share and get that link to copy it. We could also download it as a video file if we want to put it on a flash drive or something uh, so that we can have access to it without necessarily having internet. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit longer. Let's make it seven seconds so that we get an idea of what this would probably really look like. And now it's a five minute long slideshow. So we've got probably 200 photos in our slideshow here. Again, we could download it. We can just go copy this public view live link. And we're going to throw it over into another browser tab. And we are going to watch our fancy slideshow that looks really good. And we could have paid somebody hundreds of dollars to build and create. But no, we made it in Canva and are for ourselves. Um, and what are we probably like 15 minutes into this now? But that's only because I'm going over lots of different ways for you to do this. You can get this done in 10 minutes. Into the steeple, a beautiful people, where there's only one cat.